our world is absolutely incredible. Here I am in Iwami, Kyush, um, Honshu, and uh, there's no words to describe the place at all. Um, simply because the words are unable to relate to what the mankind has achieved to this date across the world with no end to the creative mindset with two hands put together working one person is far more greater effect than thousand people's doing all the worships it is the man who created the amazing cave of Buddhist way of life and uh, the understanding of the Buddhist way of life is the understanding of laws of our nature and those laws of our nature has been put to work in great deal and they are extremely powerful and it reminds us our fragility, our creativity, our ingenuity and our flexibility and our possibilities and all of those things that I mentioned plus more are endless for us to understand what life can bring when we when we transfer our emotions into deeds and methodology, the World Heritage Goyakura Khan Rakanji Temple. So, all I can say is that I'm touched and enlightened by another, an incredible history here in Iwami Ginza the World Heritage Landscape and the silver mining town and the settlement that goes back almost 500 years during Edo period. The man plus the European, particularly Portuguese, will come, were transiting here, trading silver and taking them across to cross Japan Sea to China and it was the silver rush that made this village and its creative minds of people who lived here and the ancestors the ability to come up with amazing features of creativity and make it a landscape and a place that is that anyone could call it home and anyone would call it a peaceful resting place for humans.